Look at us and Ooh. new fire extinguishers because there are other fire extinguishers they have to be in the middle on the green thing and as was right up touching the red so we bought three new ones and we've installed them ready for our bullshit safety scheme titles Happy Thursdays everyone and welcome to a brand new vlog I say, a brand new vlog. It's a lovely day but it's very windy. So um, we've been busy bunnies this morning, Lee went off and did some exercising and um, I've put those um, fire extinguishers up as you just saw and on the cash cow, I don't know whether you can see, we've got those roof bars on there so we've got those put on that's ready for our camping trips so hopefully the roof bag will sort, kind of sit between them. So um, yeah, so we're kind of preparing for summer now. And uh, we thought, as it's such a lovely day, we might as well come outside, have a, make ourselves a cup of tea or coffee and a sausage sandwich. So I've got the trangier out, have a look. Right then, the eagle-eyed amongst you may notice something different about the trangier today. <gasps> There's no alcohol stove in there. Where on earth have I put my trangier stove bit? And some of you may have even noticed the gas canister. Well, that's because we've bought ourselves the gas um, conversion kit for it. Now, I didn't buy the Trangio one because it's silly money. It's, I think it's about 80 odd quid. Um, but we got this, which everyone says is exactly the same, or just as good for 20 quid or 23 pound, including postage. So we have the attachment. So um, I'm going to try and work out how this all goes together and light the thing. I know this has to go down through there and through an hole somewhere. It through that hole, that hole there. Oh, stuff. Oh, I say. So that comes through here. I don't know whether you lot can see anything at all. So that all goes down there and out of the way. And that, it does. Look at this, everyone. So now that cable's in there. Let's just make sure we're in the right position. Because obviously, I'm getting a bit overexcited. Oh dear, it's just all too much. It's made me fall apart now. But that's all right, this can still go here. There we go. You can see easier now as well, can't you? Because I didn't need to put that on yet. And it just apparently clips in. Does it? Oh, it does, it does just clip in. I was just being a puff. See how that clips in like that? There's the gas bit. Oh, that's a long old screw thread, isn't it? That's that, let's just check. Oh, yes, indeed, we got gas. And stick this on now. Well, actually, just so you can see, let's light it, eh, first? Woohoo! It works. Turn it off again now. Just want to make sure it's lit and you lot can see that it's lit. And now I need to get some water and everything and uh, get the sausages ready and have a go with this thing. It claims that it will heat up a litre of water or to the boil in around 2 minutes 15 seconds, 2 minutes 30 seconds, something like that. So I shall, I don't know how much this kettle holds, I don't think it even holds a litre, I think it holds about 800, which should be just about right for our two new camping cups. So I'll get back to you in a mo. Bye. <laughs> Don't know why I got my glasses on. <laughs> Should have been super cool. I don't even know where I put them now. I was supposed to do that little section looking super cool, you know? And obviously the sun's behind us, so I'm probably all in darkness anyway, bye. <laughs> right then. 
I just filled up the kettle and I just put two and a bit of these, this cup, this is 450 millilitres apparently, so I would say this probably does just about hold a litre. So I am going to time it, let's uh, get the old gas started. Let's go in. Start the stopwatch. I don't like it on that loud though, so I don't think I want to cook it that violently. But I will for this one. Back in a minute. Right then, we're just about at two minutes. And it is, it's got bubbles in it already, oh my God. It is, it's, it's gonna do it in two and a half minutes. I mean, it's kind of boiling already. I'd say three minutes for it to be a full boil for me. Well, that's boiling now. Three minutes. Please join us, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Have you had a lovely morning? Yes, thank you. This is quite good. This is a, a little mix Lee's made for me. So this is for coffee. It's got coffee in it, a sugar and a coffee, mate, <laughs> all in one. So I can just bring one of these and that's me cup of coffee and everything done in one go. That's it. How cool is that? Lovely little container, isn't it? Very pretty, isn't it? I like little pots. You do like your containers. She's a weirdo. <laughs> Where's my tea bag gone? I don't know, darling. Oh, it's in my cup. Oh. <laughs> the, the one good thing about having the gas um, conversion for it, it's not, I mean, I did give it a bit of full twat there. <laughs> I wouldn't really cook at that speed. It gives you more control, because obviously I can turn it down, can't I? When cooking sausages. Although the Trangia does a brilliant job. Mm. The, the alcohol stove, I love the alcohol stove. So it's not to replace that. We'll still use the alcohol stove mainly. It's just nice to have the alternative. Good. What? <laughs> I, shouldn't, I don't like putting the milk in first, because then it just fills up the holes of the tea bag. No, it doesn't. It does. What a load of old bollocks. Well, what do you think of one? Why does it take so long? Why does it take so long? talking shit, honestly. Why does it take so long then? It's liquid. It's no more viscous than water. Why does it me. take so long then? It doesn't. It does. It takes so long to do what, darling? To yeah, do? To draw. No, because we, that looks like your normal cup of tea no, anyway. It doesn't. Yes, it is, because you do piss tea. No, it doesn't. She does do piss tea, honestly, everyone. That's the colour it normally comes out when she does oh, it for no, me. That's well, yeah, but you squeeze it against the edge like I do. She's just a weirdo. The milk fills up the holes in the tea. Ow! <laughs> Did you see that? That should be... I reckon I could phone the husband battering... Child line. Hus <laughs> the husband battering line or whatever. Anyway, bye. Now I've got to go and treat me burns. <laughs> she did burn me, the little fucker. Well then, I might as well do the old... Um, Sausages for a sausage sandwich. I'm just going to put a little bit of um, this oil stuff in here. So, <laughs> swang it around. Swang it. Around. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, that took a bit of messing around with, didn't it? Okay. Oh, I forgot about them. It's really hot. Yeah, no, it is. <laughs> A furious old stove, that, let me tell you. And we've got some new tongs, look, some baby ones. But I've, I think I've seen a fault in these already, which I'm sure we're going to discover because the way they close this thing, right? I see this just a slidey thing. So when you slide it up there, it's off, and then when it's there, you can open them. But when you're doing some sausages, right? So you're that way around, look, <laughs> what's happened? It's locked them, isn't it? So that I think is a load of old shit. Isn't it? It's soon going to see. Oh, that heated that up quick, didn't it? Let me tell you. I think you best go and start making the bread already. Say, really. I said, let me know when you need Not me making to do the bread. Not making the bread. Mean. Let me know when you need me to do the bread. I think I need to do it. <laughs> yeah, I don't like these. Sorry and all that. They're shit. <laughs> They're rubbish. 
Maybe we need to take them off and then just put them on for... Then you can't get them off. No. You won't go past that thing, obviously. I'm going to get the bread. Okay. But I turned them down a bit. So it's quite controllable, I guess. So yeah, I don't like cooking sausages that fast. Because goodness me, then they wouldn't be cooked inside, would they? They'd just be a burnt mess. Yeah, but these are rubbish. Absolute not look. So it's all right if you don't hold them down, actually try and do the food with them. If you do it the wrong way, if I come from underneath, it'll be all right. Or if I try and hold my finger on it, and then you're like mongy trying to turn these. I don't know. I'm not being funny, right? Who designed these? What absolute utter retard designed these? Because they obviously don't work, do they? Not properly. I despair for the human race sometimes. And anyway, talking about despairing for the human race, I hope you all turn that bloody alarm thing off on your phone. I mean, it's too late now because this vlog will obviously go out after that. But that emergency nonsense. It'd be funny now um, to see how many people are in a constant state of fear, wouldn't it? Have you turned your phone thing off, Lee? You haven't? Yeah, of course I have. It's funny, I'm seeing people saying, oh, it's a good idea. Yeah, it's a great idea to let the um, government fear monger even more, isn't it? Yeah, let's have everyone's phone going, wee, 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 at everyone, eh? Yeah. Honestly, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you something now, Lee. I am not going to be as tolerant of people who are being fucktards from now on. <laughs> like, I was tolerant of fucktards with COVID to a really? point. Well, yeah, I was. I didn't go and punch <laughs> face masks in the face, did I? And I've always said it's up to you, but I've had enough of retards who think all this is all all right. <laughs> so, um, but I'm confident a lot more people are waking up. It's nice to have that message from your paddleboarding lady, wasn't it? It was, yes. Because she had seen one of our videos, the one that I did with the emergency phone bollocks thing, the proper one that I did for that. And uh, she said, oh, thank God there's normal people out there. <laughs> Anyway, I managed to turn the sausages down, Lee, because you don't want your sausage to be spent too quickly, do you? Bye. Bye. Back when they're finished. Actually, I just thought, oh, what's that? My sausage is spitting. <laughs> I thought something else about this phone bollocks, right? Because I've had people try to say, oh, it's a good idea that, you know, if Russia attacked and that, we'd all get a warning. Well, what the fuck are you going to do? By the time it's warned you, You've been obliterated. <laughs> and it, it's not got a bunker yet, so yeah, it's not I mean, gonna help. <laughs> some people's lack of intelligence. I'd rather not know if there's a missile coming, thank you, but we know it's not gonna be used for that. It's gonna be used, I honestly think it's gonna be be used to say you're not allowed outdoors because the carbon dioxide levels are too high. More propaganda bullshit. Nobody is stopping me from going. No, outdoors. Gonna, I'm telling you, I told you I'm not gonna be I as love tolerant being now. Outdoors. I'm not going to be intolerant, especially of people who, who go on about it, who um, agree with it. No, they can fuck off, I'm telling you. And I hope more people like me start rising up and stop being scared to say what they think. And then these stupid little turtle scallywags. Yeah, just turtles, honestly. They've got nothing about them. These left-wing shitheads. And you think the government has got their best interests at heart. Or some people like it because... They've got fuck all in their lives. That's what I believe. And let me tell you something else while we're at it, right? While I'm on a bit of a run. The only people still wearing face masks are fucking ugly people. <laughs> That's why they're wearing them. That's why you don't need to undo Well, obviously, there's no way anyone... Oh, there's no way I need to cover my face because I'm such a beauty. <laughs> it's a lovely face now you've had a shave. <laughs> Bye. Right then, I think we're pretty much done. Splendid. You probably can't see this. Oh dear. So put them out the right day, wait, dear. There you go, sweetheart. Lovely. Oh dear. Bread's toasting. <laughs> <laughs> In a <the> song. <laughs> yeah. Just eat, Lee, don't worry about me. Oh, I need a knife, please, to oh. cut in half. I mean, bread is toasted. <laughs> it's the bread's gone crunchy, let me tell you. <laughs> That's why I didn't do it too early, then you told me to do it. I should have covered them. Anyway, having me sandwich now, bye. <laughs> bye.
Need a jazz as it's windy. Well, that's a success, isn't it, Lee? Yeah, well done. Well done. That's all right. You can make me my cup of tea quicker in the morning when we go camping. <laughs> Sometimes it's nice to have a slow one in the morning rather than a quick one. <laughs> Bye. You have to lower the tone and everything, don't you? It's your dirty mind. I meant a cup of tea. <laughs> well, we've got a bridge fixerist here, look. You see in behind. They're fixing the bridge, perhaps. Put a new hydraulics pump in it. So uh Lee'll lose her parking space as Dave just said. She'll have to move a car. Quite liked it there. Heck Hector will have to go back on his lead as well. It's been quite nice because he hasn't really had to be on his lead because there's been nothing coming across the bridge. And the bridge is moving. It is moving. Let's turn you around. We have bridge action. Let's go through the gap. Well, they seem to kind of... Uh, got it open now so I'm not quite sure what's going on anyway we'll have the bridge back at last by the looks of it bye Lee yes fuck this global warming <laughs> it's freezing isn't it <laughs> so because it's sunny we thought oh we'll have a nice sort of sit out for a while I've been kind of looking on my phone waiting for work to come in and uh, there's not been a lot but no we've enjoyed watching the bridge being <laughs> attend attended to but it's so cold. It's like minus 30 or something, isn't it? It's still windy. We've had to resort to hats and gloves. I know. <laughs> well, I've just taken my gloves off. I'm sure once the old, those old alerts go off, it'll tell us that we're not allowed outside because it's too cold. <laughs> or oh, it's too windy. It's for your own safety. You might get blown over. <laughs> That's what the noise is going to be. Was that Lenny Henry? <laughs> it was. <laughs> oh, Lenny, Lenny, Len. Oh, Lenny, Lenny, Len. Do you remember? It's an old rubbish. It's an old rubbish. Yeah, but you remember the Lenny Henry show, didn't you? Mm, I do. Do you remember when he used to go, I read? <laughs> We're not allowed to do that. It's sunnier over there because he's, mate, he's just got a t shirt on, he's fitting in a t shirt. He's just gone in. I tell you what, I, I swear to God, this side of the marine is colder, isn't it? I tell you what, I bet, I bet if we go and if we go and sit on the back of our boat again, mm. it'll be warm. Come on, let's go and try. Go on, try and you tell me the truth. <laughs> I, honestly, the this truth. is going to be truthful. Oh. Ooh, my nose is running. <laughs> oh, that's better. I'm not even joking. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm not joking. Why have we not sat here? <laughs> oh, oh, is it warmer here oh, or not? Oh. Tell the truth. Is yeah. it warmer here or not? From the sea, to the sea isn't warm. <laughs> it is flipping warmer here. It's weird, isn't it? I'm going to get me beer, and we're going to say this is bad because I've been having beer today on a work day, no, and I still, I'm it. telling you, I am blaming um, whoever his name was, Dave. <laughs> he only no, said only the phrase a... "beer o'clock." He know. didn't have to be. Well, we're celebrating the beer, fix beer. of the bridge, aren't we? <laughs> we are. <laughs> I'm going to go over the bridge shortly because I'm going to pilot in in a little while. Lee, can I tell you something funny? If you like. You know when I was playing with the dog, I dove onto the floor with him. Yes. And got grass all over me. Yes. Do you remember? I do. I went for a wee a minute ago. I undid my flies and grass came <laughs> out. I'm not even joking. <laughs> I just missed you fall or diving. I was just about to video you and the dog playing and you uh, fell over. I didn't fall over. I fall dived down. after the dog. Fall over. That's before I had a beer. Anyway, yeah. that's it. Bye. 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 Right then. The bridge is working. Look. Let's see if Lee can get across. She's off to Pilates. While I sit on the back of the boat. Drinking ale. It's definitely quicker, the old bridge. To open. But I don't know about the barrier. Basically, all we've done today is sit outside watching them work on the bridge. And that's it really, I've been terrible. It's been terrible, I've been terrible, but very lazy. It's all right, we'll, we'll keep waiting. There we go. Now watch it come back down on top of her. <laughs> Hooray! 
apparently, in all seriousness, there's someone got to come in and play with the programming on the bridge because all the timing's gone out again. So, at least it's kind of working. To be honest with you, that's been a bit of a lazy afternoon. Should really been working. Mind you, I had my phone on so I could see the emails coming through, but yeah, we kind of got a little bit waylaid and I just stayed out on the naughty bench all afternoon watching the fixer bridge, having a bit of a crack. So yeah, I must say a bit naughty having a beer early on today, but we've got, um, I'm doing some cooking again tonight. I'm going to be doing a leftover kebab because we were naughty last night at kebab and I know I shouldn't, but we did. Uh, but we, uh, we both got a large one. <laughs> no, no. And uh, hopefully tonight I'm going to put some, some bolognese sauce or something, put the leftover kebab in it, maybe a bit of gnocchi and some bollocks and spiciness and we'll see what happens. See you later. Bye. Well, as Lee's gone off to piloting and all that sort of stuff, I've just been on my phone and just looking at messages and stuff, see what's going on in the world. Been on my Twitter and all that sort of stuff. And I've kind of gone on to Facebook. And I'm going to tell you right away, I'm going to absolutely tell you right away, Facebook, I honest to God don't understand why everyone still uses it. It's fucking diabolical. The lady in the boat, Put up a message. I'm going to read it. This is why I've got my glasses on, so I'm going to read it to you. All ready for Sunday. I think we're safe from wildfires. And although I live on the water, I think we're pretty safe in flooding here too. I've just had the feeling this warning system is going to extend to climate change and tell us where and when we can't go outdoors or where we can go and all that bollocks uh, because of one crisis or another. After all the lies surrounding the lockdowns, no one is telling me I can't go outdoors. Okay, so that's what she posted. And have a guess what Facebook have tagged this post as. Underneath that it says, this is Facebook, remember? See how the average temperature in your area is changing. Explores climate science. Science, do you remember science? Remember all the science around COVID, which is all fucking bollocks. Sorry, I'm going to get banned off. I'm going to get banned on YouTube again. I, I really don't give a shit anymore. I'm absolutely sick to death of retards um, going along with all this lot. Happy Fridays, everyone. I can't believe we're at the end of the week already. Goodness me, this week's flown by. And um, I've only just released today's vlog because it's Friday. And I've almost finished this vlog, so we're well ahead at the moment. So yeah, you might have noticed yesterday that um, the last bit of video you saw before the date thing came up, you can see that I cut myself off. And I did that on purpose because, um, well, there was some news that I heard yesterday. So it appears that YouTube are back on the warpath. Uh, they've um, banned Richard Vobes for a week. Now that doesn't mean he's banned for a week. Well, it does. It means he can't upload anything or do anything for a week. But it also means that he's now on um, trial, so to speak, for 90 days at least. So three months. He can't step out of line or else his channel gets taken down. And uh, that's terrible because all he's doing is speaking the truth. And now what I'm saying about what I was talking about yesterday where I cut myself off, I actually self-censored myself. Now I like to be honest and tell you that I've done that because it's not something I'd normally do. But I do know from what I actually said, because obviously I've watched it and I've been editing it, I thought, Paul, that will be a ban. So I've had to um, zip it a little bit. Um, more really because this is a vlog couples channel and I don't want this channel really to be bad. Now, if it's on Living in a Ditch or one of the other channels, then bugger it, don't matter if that gets banned. So perhaps I'll do something somewhere else. I don't know. But anyway, that's just to bring you up to sound that because I know some of the eagle eyed there will um, spot that I was carrying on talking. But there you go. And I do feel bad that I've self censored myself. It really irritates me. But obviously, you could see what I was talking about. And I am getting irritated with people's um, passiveness on all of this. Um, people you know blinkered and thinking it's all okay and it's just not so um, and I know most of you guys are pretty well balanced and uh, a lot of you are seeing the bullshit and again as I said yesterday I think there's more people waking up there's still an awful lot of people who are fast asleep and what upsets me um, a, a lot of the people I see going on about this people I actually know and uh, this is one of the reasons I came off Facebook before 
because I would have just fallen out with people. And I don't, uh, even fa some family members or friends of family and all that sort of stuff, people were grassing on me, you know, to, or tittle tat, not grassing, tittle tattling and making bullshit up um, just because I don't agree with what I was saying. And I thought, I can't do this nonsense on Facebook because you're all idiots. Uh, Facebook is diabolical. Uh, the only reason I'm back on there again, really, is because I wanted to get Gate and Morris thing going up again, uh, doing the photography challenges. Um, Hector's obviously on there, but I, I rarely go on there. So anyone who messages me on Facebook, they don't expect to get an answer very quickly because I don't check it very often. So um, that's just another one of those places where you feel that you have to be careful what you say or else you get a ban. And it's, it's nonsense, absolute utter nonsense. That's why I love MeWe. And I do think more people should just come over to MeWe, but people won't because yeah, Facebook's easy and Facebook's it's just, but it isn't. So I don't know. Anyway, away from that, something else that's been interesting to me, I think I've told you before, um, I've been watching some of the um, auditing videos. Now I don't like the antagonistic ones, there's a few people out there that just go out to, to get a reaction. And I don't like that because those types of people um, are the people that are going to get, people like me, with drone flyers and that, they're going to get us banned because they're just going in and putting these drones in dodgy old places. Um, although it's legal, it is, it's not decent. Let's put it that way. But there's a couple that I really like. Now, the confrontation, but you are going to get confrontation. This isn't about just the drones. When they're taking photographs of maybe an industrial unit or something like that, people come out and ask them what they're doing. Now, there's nothing illegal about what they're doing. They're just... Um, well, they're just taking photographs, aren't they? Taking an interest in what's going on. You know, some people like seeing all the forklifts and the lorries and all that sort of stuff. And um, that's where the um, conflict comes in, and that's what gives the entertainment on YouTube, I guess. But there's one I watch is DJ Audits. Now, he can be a bit of a dick sometimes. I think he's a uh, bloody know it all, to be honest. But I kind of, there's something about him I like. Um, he's quite funny. Uh, his sense of humor is quite funny. But, uh, and he, but he doesn't antagonize anyone with a drone. But he has this thing he calls, gets a zoom camera so that he can zoom in. Like he might see some packages, you know, on a pallet and he wants to zoom in and see what's on them. And you can kind of read it. And uh, then you can see some of the other auditors, uh, like um, Random outings. he's copied in. They all call it the zoom camera. And I thought, I know I used to have a camera like that because Lear actually brought it. I was supposed to say, oh, I wish I could see that boat number. Of course, you can't with an action cam. And um, I was just thinking, I thought, where on earth would that be? Because I had one four or five years ago, maybe more, seven years, maybe, I don't know. And that is something like a, a 90 times or a 50 times zoom or something like that. And um, I found it this morning. I actually found the camera. And I found it underneath my um, seat in here with the power supply. So although I have tested it, or I've had a play with it, and the battery seems a bit dodgy. So I'm going to take the gamble and I've ordered another battery. But look. We have our own little zoom camera now, so we can be nosy gits as well. But yeah, so I have got it working. Um, I'll go out and test it outside when it stops raining and show you, but you can half um, zoom in a long way. There we go. Anyway, you know what? I've had enough for now. I'll go and test this again when it stops raining, like I just said, because I'm repeating myself now. And then, um, well, well, just well, whatever. Bye. <laughs> Right then, let's have a look, shall we? I mean, I know we're not going to win any photography or cinematography awards with this camera, but it's still, it's still HD, it's still 1080. So let's have a little zoom in, shall we? I'm on a monopod. Obviously, while I'm carrying it like this, I'm not, but let's uh, put it on this monopod and zoom in over there. Let's have a look, shall we? <laughs> Lee's gonna love this because you'll get boat numbers with it. That's not so bad, is it? That seems in a bloody long way, doesn't it? We've got Dave, have we? Yeah, we've got Dave doing bridge duties. Dave and Tony.
Let's zoom in on Elliot and Fiona's boat, Thomasina. See if we can get the number for Lee. Although she's got it, but let's just see how far we can get in. <laughs> That's pretty cool, isn't it? One more little go, let's see how far we can zoom in down here. Can we get the number on Cosset? That's the question. <laughs> That's mad, honestly. Well, Lee's going to be happy, isn't she? She'll be taking this camera wherever she goes. She can get numbers. Hey, <laughs> bye. <laughs> you can even turn it round as well. Look, turn the screen round so I can see myself. <laughs> I'll tell you. Bye. Well, I guess we're getting towards the end of this vlog. I can't believe that I did a whole vlog or spoke shit for more than half an hour in a day and a bit. So yeah, done well on the talking shit front, haven't I? So yeah, I guess that is about it. So all that's left to say, which I forgot to say on the last vlog, is we obviously love you all. We hope you have a fabulous week. I guess that this one's going to be uploaded as a bonus one for this week. Um, so I hope you all have a brilliant week, brilliant weekend. Enjoy what you're doing. Enjoy life. Um, don't listen to all the bullshit. And we'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.